After your calibration is performed, you can go into the analyze option, go into lead paint mode, and to create and export easy templates that give detailed descriptions on each sample that you're taking, you can create a template that breaks down where each sample was taken and what material it was taken on. Uh, and so in order to get to that menu, you can click the three dots on the top right. You can go into test info. You will want to make sure the checked box for prompt for test info is checked. This will make sure that before each sample is taken, uh, you're categorizing uh, where that sample is being taken. Going into template setup, you can add a new field. This is the field name where you will want the broad description of your sample being taken. For example, we can do school. From there, if you want to add any numeric fields, you can check that box. To further specify where you are testing in the field, you'll want to go into Smart Selector. And before you do that, you will want to mark the Persist uh, box. Going into Smart Selector, we can break down the school testing even further. So for example, we can do Class A. I'll add that option. You can do the material that you're testing or the platform you're testing on. Desk A, Desk B, Desk C. So now we have three options for class A, and we know that we are testing, these tests are being performed in the school. So going back into the sample mode, when we run our tests, after performing the calibration, and now that we have our template set up, we can now, cal we can now perform our samples. Uh, knowing that they're going to export easily and in great detail. Uh, so now we're in the sample screen. We initiate the sample by pressing the trigger. And from here, we got the test info popping up. So we're going to select our sample ID, which is at the school. We're testing desks, and we're going to be testing desk A to start. Make sure that radio button's clicked. Press the trigger. Sample one's down on desk A. Click the trigger again. Change the desk to desk B. To navigate through each screen, I'm pressing the trigger button. And now we'll perform our last test on desk C here.